All right, thanks, Audra. Hey, we're out here with a celebration for a great cause. Uh, Clint's already getting started for this event. It's not till November 5th, but that doesn't matter. If you brew it, I will come. <laughs> <laughs> it's a golf tournament and beer festival all rolled into one with lots of entertainment, and all the proceeds go to include autism. It's an, uh, all these programs in San Diego. It's very near and dear to my heart since my brother has autism right. as well. And Johnny Grant is the Director of Development and Outreach for Include Autism. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. And Stephen Brooks is the Offsite Events Coordinator, Mission Brewery. Yes, ma'am. Bringing all these lovely tastes. <laughs> and then we have Kayahi over here playing. He's going to be playing at, right now a little bit lower, but then we're going to hear him really. And if I recall, the, per, the correct way to pronounce it is ukulele, not ukulele, I think. Am I right? Yes, he nodded yes. Ukulele. Well, look at you Ukulele. doing your research. Well, you know what? I do research when it involves beer and a good cause. <laughs> and, and a good these cause. guys have this all lined up here. They've got a putting green we're going to try, but tell us about what's going on. So it's a uh, scramble format golf tournament at Rancho Bernardo Inn on November 5th. And while the golf tournament's happening, we're also going to have a beer festival at the same time. So, yeah, we have lots of entertainment lined up. We have a game lawn. We have different activities like live painting classes happening. Uh, so it's a like drink and paint class. Uh, florists are coming out helping you make uh, flower crowns. There's so much to do at this event. It's definitely going to be the place to be on and November this, 5th. What's, uh, what's your passion behind it? Why, why so, be involved in this? So the reason that we're having the event is to raise funds for Include Autism's programs. And what we do is we help uh, teach kids, teens, and young adults with autism uh, independent skills and social skills so they can go out into the community and learn how to be active members of their community. Okay, that is awesome. Did you say drink and paint? That's right. Oh my goodness, I'd love to see those drawings <laughs> after that. That's awesome. No straight lines, all right. squiggles. <laughs> right? It's a swimming pool. Yes. It's just got weird edges. Maybe a little abstract, yeah. Clint, this beer's going to get warm. So, Steven, what's what's going on? Yeah, I brought three beers for us to try today. Nothing better than beer for breakfast. Uh, the dark one right here is our Dark Seas. It's a Russian Imperial Stout. Uh, that's nice. the biggest one. That one's 9.8%. Oh. Uh, this one right here is our Mission Hefeweizen. That's that, a, which one should we start with? Oh, I mean, really, anyone you matter. want. Yeah, just go for it. Uh, they're all great breakfast beers. Okay, so uh, wait, which, what's the one we're trying right uh, now? That one right there is the Mission oh, Hefeweizen. Um, so that one's a little bit lighter, 5.3%. Lots of banana on that one. And then my personal favorite oh, right here behind it is the Golden Milk Stout. So that one's kind of deceiving. You look at it, it's nice and light, but really, really nice, sweet uh, coffee notes on that one. So that's a that's a good, you know, wake up and drink beer right there. All right, okay. so... Oh, you can't taste the coffee. Wake up and drink beer. Did you hear that? <laughs> I love it. That's He's funny. our kind of guy. Or golf, you know, either or. And then this is and the golf. Russian Imperial Stout. The, yes, sir. Let me tell yeah. you something. This is breakfast right here. <laughs> this is, is very good. Oh, yeah. Nice one glass. glass. Yes. Oh, man, it's wonderful. Mm. Oh, boy. How about that? <laughs> yeah. So Mission Brewery, this goes back to, what, 1913 or something? Uh, yeah, so the original Mission Brewery started in 1913. It actually closed down during Prohibition about six years later, late 1919. Um, but our, our owner, uh, you know, bought the, the the rights to the name. We repurposed, restarted in 2007. We're downtown San Diego right now. Okay, so for tickets, can people go online? How do they? Yeah, you go straight to includeautism.org, and there's a link to the tickets right there. Uh, and then from there, there's golf options or just beer fest. Or you can join us for a luau dinner at the end of the oh, day. That's so nice. It's going to be really, really fun. It's for a great, great cause. A lot of fun, a lot of work, and passion went into this, I can tell. Now, Kayahi, while you're playing, we're going to see Clint uh, uh, try, to, try to get it in the <laughs> I'm in the pond. I'm in the hard. sand. All right, Kayahi, thank you. Take us out to break then. Oh, Keep playing. Oh, All right. Read the her brownie brittle took the snack world by storm, sharing her recipe for success and brownies. We're talking to Sheila G, the brownie queen. You don't want to miss her easy and inventive holiday dessert ideas.